Hello, hello, hello. The truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. So, history, unfortunately, repeats itself. And even though we're living in the best of times, or right before Mashiach is about to come, we have to acknowledge that there has been a disgusting uptick in anti-Semitism. And anti-Semitism, of course, is jealousy. People that are malcontent, often they suffer from anxiety, they suffer from abuse, uh, which is always about the meaning they have, what we would call narcissistic personality disorder, which is basically um, low self-esteem, which comes from being shamed, and they're jealous of people that are feel content and happy with themselves. Unfortunately, what many Jews themselves um, obviously were concerned with anti-Semitism didn't realize when they elected Obama was they, they elected a classic anti-Semite because radicals are not people that love. Radicals are people that hate. And this is very, very important to understand because the difference between someone that loves and hate is like the difference between somebody who's building a building and destroying a building. So the former is constructive, the other is destructive. A person can seem to be such a pious person. I couldn't believe it as a Jew. Obviously, intrinsically, he's a good person. He's very into the Holocaust. He's an artist. And he's like got, you know, I don't even know her name, Omar, that anti-Semitic Congress lady and with quotes. And these Jews are following these nutcases um, because they don't know enough about the nature of anti-Semitism. Most Jews are not familiar with the causes of anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism is not something that the majority do. It's not something that the kind of great Christian empire does. Anti-Semitism comes from malcontent people. It could also come from those malcontents in the form of Hitler who convinced Germans. But the German, Germany itself was not by nature an anti-Semitic country. They had a 50% intermarriage rate. So the bottom line is that when these um, sick leaders are elected, what they do is they take something that is unacceptable and by bringing it into the mainstream, they make it acceptable. And so Obama's lasting effect, really, because the left-wing media is continuously kind of bolstering his narrative of anti-Israel, anti-money, um, so therefore they are um, um, maintaining this um, evil in the world. And really everything is a spiritual challenge and if there's evil it means we just have to increase in our faith and in our confidence that Hashem is going to bring Mashiach soon. We have to add in our Torah mitzvahs. That's the only thing that's going to save us, the only thing that's going to change it. And um, please take my message quite serious, pass it on, because it is quite serious. And uh, may we merit the light of the menorah in the Holy Temple now.